okay now now the exercise uh, in this exercise what we does is uh, we do some real life problems which can be converted into uh, engineering graphics problems uh, till now what we have done is a uh, line is there a line is here and uh, the endpoints are there one endpoints are there uh, here etc etc those types of uh, values were given but in the real life situations what is the what is the condition uh, we will be having uh, some rooms uh, some walls etc etc uh, in order to determine the positions the positions of uh, the items so uh, one or two such examples let's do and uh, after that uh, we will wind up the session so the first uh, question is the first exercise on this part that is the real life type uh, or the application type questions this is a, a real life type exercise or a, an application type exercise so in this case the question is a room measures eight meter long five meter wide and four meter high so the dimensions of a room is given a room such as uh, what you are sitting in is given the dimensions is given Oh, oh. obviously it is some somewhat exaggerated dimensions so don't worry about the dimensions of the room so then an electric bulb hangs in the center of the ceiling and one meter below it obviously that uh, happens that is an electric bulb hangs in the center of the ceiling and one meter below it then there is a black spot on the bulb surface when the bulb is switched on the image of the black spot falls on one of the corner of the room at a height of 1.25 meter above the floor so the image of uh, that black spot falls on one of the corner of the room and at a height of 1.5 meter above the floor now neglecting the size of the bulb draw the projections of the line connecting the black spot on the bulb and its image formed on the wall so we are neglecting the size of the bulb uh, what we have to do is we have to draw the projections of the line connecting the black spot on the bulb and its image formed on the wall or on the corner also determine the true length of the line connecting the black spot and its image and and the slope it makes with the floor so again what we have we have to first draw the projections and then what we have to do is we have to determine the true length of the line that is which is connects the black spot with its image and the slope it makes with the floor so in this case what we consider is uh, we consider the floor to be our hp the horizontal plane so how to mark the projections uh, seemingly it is very difficult uh, really difficult to question uh, seemingly because the question is very length very lengthy they it constitutes almost six lines of or four five lines uh, as text itself so you might be thinking that it is very difficult but actually it is not that difficult first what we have to do is we have to draw the projections of the room before drawing the projections of the image i mean the projections of the line connecting the black spot and the image what we have to do is we have to first uh, draw the projections of the room so let's uh, go for it so first we draw the our xy line which represents the ground or the floor and uh, now since we cannot uh, draw 8 meter long in our paper and 5 meter 4 meter etc etc we cannot draw in our uh, drawing sheet or in our book so what we do is we consider a scale a scale in which 100 millimeter is represented sorry 100 centimeter is represented by a centimeter so that is 100 centimeter is 1 meter so 1 meter is represented by 1 centimeter that is how we consider so 8 meter long means we will be drawing only 8 centimeter long line or long side but we represent that particular length to be 8 meter so the scale is 1 is to 100 means the actual length is divided by 100 in order to draw it in our uh, drawing so if the scale is uh, 1 is to 100 8 meter becomes 8 meter divided by 100 that is 8 centimeters so 8 centimeter long 
so then all the dimensions that we represent in our drawing will be in meters uh, not the actual value that is being drawn but the uh, actual value in the question itself the actual value the what it represents that particular value is represented as dimension so this is our room the front view of the room in the front view when we look from uh, for a room from the front uh, uh, for the front view the width will be 8 meter and the height will be 4 meter the 5 meter won't be visible in this direction the height is visible in the front view the height is visible as well as the width is visible width or uh, uh, one of those dimensions length or width in this case we have taken it as length so the length 8 meter and 4 meter height that rectangle that rectangle represents our uh, room in the front view now this is 4 meter height and we represent the top view in the top view it is obviously 8 meter by 5 meter 8 meter long and 5 meter wide so that is uh, the top view of that particular room so that is this distance is the the length is 8 meter the length is 8 meter the height is 5 meter uh, in the top view and the length is 8 meter and the height is 4 meter in the front view in the front view it should touch with the xy line because we consider the ground to be coinciding with the floor in the top view it should not it need not touch with any uh, any particular lines so 8 meter and four, 8 by 5 is a rectangle that represents the top view and 8 by 4 another rectangle which represents the front view now we represent the bulb in the front view so it is said that the bulb is uh, in the center of the ceiling center of the ceiling means the ceiling is this this line this line represents the ceiling in the front view the topmost line represents the ceiling so this is the ceiling which it represents and uh, the, since the bulb is in the center it should be in the middle of uh, the middle midpoint of uh, this uh, ceiling or uh, the midpoint of the line in the midpoint of the line we drop a vertical line and this line is should be of one meter length why one meter length because the length of uh, sorry the bulb is hanging from the ceiling and is one meter below it so from the center of the ceiling and one meter below it we represent that is this point this point represents our bulb so that is one meter and this point represents the front view of the bulb so we represent it as b dash b dash is the center i mean the front view of the bulb now the front view of the black spot that also has to be uh, represented the uh, front view of the image of the not the uh, front view of the black spot but front view of the image of the black spot the bulb itself represents the black spot since the we are neglecting the size of the bulb the black spot is considered to be the bulb itself or the bulb itself is the black spot or black spot itself is the bulb since we are neglecting the size of the bulb now the image the image should be 1.5 millimeter above the floor in this case the xy line represents the floor in the front view so 1.25 millimeter above the xy line we consider a point and it should be on one of the corners what we consider is we consider it to be towards the right the right edge or the right corner one of the right corners in the front view we doesn't know which right corner it is whether it is in the uh, front right corner or the back right corner we doesn't know so we uh, mark the point the image of the bla black spot 1.5 meter above the floor so this is s dash so b dash is the black spot and s dash is the image of the black spot so b dash s dash if we join v dash s dash it will be the front view of the straight line joining these two points that is the black spot as well as uh, the image of the black spot so that is the condition now we have to mark all these points in the top view also so in the top view 
the bulb will be at the center or at the geometrical center of the rectangle representing the uh, top the top view of the row so here is the top view of b or top view of the bulb and the side the uh, image of the black spot that will be in any one of the corners it can be either in the front corner or in the back corner uh, any corner you can take because it is not set in which corner it lies but in both the corners it, the answer will be the same so any one of the corners you can take in this case i have taken the front corner front right corner so in th this will be the point yes that is the top view of the image of the black spot now we join b dash s dash so this is the front view of the line joining the black spot with the image. This is the front view of the uh, line joining the black spot with the image. And here, BS, it is the top view of the uh, straight line joining the black spot with the image. So the corresponding front view as well as the top view are given. So this is this completes the projection. The projection is completed. Now what we have to do is we have to find out the true length and the true inclination with the HP or with the floor. So in order to get the true length, we rotate the top view so that it is it becomes parallel to the XY line. So that is B S1 will be parallel to the XY line. And then from the S1 line, we draw the locus of project towards the locus of S dash. So this is the point S1 dash. Now the length of B dash, S1 dash will be the true length, which is the answer. The true length of B dash, S1 dash will be the true length, that is the answer. And the inclination of B dash, S1 dash with the XY line, that is with the horizontal line, this angle, this angle is the inclination with the HP or inclination with the floor. This is theta, the inclination of the floor. So this is how it is being drawn. So seemingly it is very difficult, but uh, in practice, when we do it in practice, it is really very simple. So let me demonstrate it once more. So first if you draw the XY line, then the uh, scale is 1 is 200 that we have already decided and uh, all dimensions represented will be in meters that also we decided. Then the front view of the room is drawn. It is 4 meter height and 8 meter wide rectangle. Then that line, that, that particular rectangle should be touching the XY line. Then a second uh, rectangle is drawn below the XY line. This is to represent the top view of the room. The top view of the room will be a rectangle of size 8 by 5. 8 by 5. Now we draw the front view of the bulb or the black spot. So that is 1 meter below the ceiling and in the center of the ceiling. B dash. Then uh, we draw or we mark the front view of the image of the black spot that is the s dash point point s dash is marked with here it is 1.25 meter above the floor line so it is uh, 1.25 meters above the xy line so all these mar distances are marked uh, in meters so even if we draw it as four centimeters it actually represents four meter uh, even if we draw a one centimeter line to represent one meter in the actual sense it is one meter itself otherwise in the drawing it will be only one centimeter so that way uh, s dash is marked and in the top view b is marked and uh, in the top view the s is also marked in one corner since the image is formed in one corner the s is in one corner now you can join B dash as well as S dash to get the front view and B S to get the top view. Now we rotate the top view in order to get S1. 
then we mark the point x1 dash then we join b dash x1 dash which is the true length b dash x1 dash is the true length and uh, the inclination of b dash x1 dash with the horizontal line is the true inclination of the line or the slope of the line true inclination or the slope of the line which makes it makes with the flow so this is the final drawing so you just draw it I am I'll give you five minutes five minutes to complete the drawing I think I don't have to draw it in uh, the open board so you complete it so the screen will be like this the true length in the measurement of page led can they meters and now the centimeter like in the measure in the in our scale we are measuring it in centimeters whatever centimeter we get it is converted into meters that is suppose suppose if I'm going to 7.5 centimeter net in the area so the true length will be 7.5 meters okay. 